welcome back guys in this video i'll be showing you how to sketch at three common types of door the section typically comes in the sketch and design part of your csec exam uh, for you to be able to sketch these the ledge brace and button you would need to know exactly what it looks like and also the, what, uh, the different parts of it in this case, here we have a ledge door, a ledge brace and batten door. This part is referred to as the top rail. The vertical pieces of boards that are joined together is called the match board. Uh, yeah, and this is the middle rail, bottom rail. The horizontal pieces that supports the match boards is referred to as the brace. Uh, typically a uh, ledge and brace door has two at least two braces across here we have the panel panel door and a uh, panel door has a section which with protruding protruding um, panels per se in this case we have a one two three panel door um, and a uh, the frame the part of the door that forms the frame is referred to as the the rail well not, well not necessarily so here this is the top rail down here is the bottom rail and this one is the middle rail so the the horizontal pieces that forms the framework for the door are referred to as a rail the vertical pieces that forms the outer part of the frame is referred to as the still. So we have panels, we have panels, we have top rail, which is the horizontal piece of the horizontal piece, middle piece, middle rail, lower pieces referred to as the bottom rail. And the vertical pieces to the left and to the right, which are referred to as the still. Across here we have a flush door. Uh, we have solid flush door. We have hollow flush door. Uh, for us to label this, well, typically this door would still have the frame or the framework. It would still it contains under this a top rail, probably a middle rail, bottom rail, still, and uh it is important to note that we have different types of flush door. We have solid flush door and we have hollow flush door. So flush door varies. All right. Now, how do we draw this? In most cases, the question asks that you draw these, draw a pictorial view. And once the word pictorial view is mentioned, you know that it has to be three-dimensional. Front, end, on top, 3D, pictorial view. So in this case, I would start by establishing my your isometric or your oblique line. So this could be oblique. So in this case, I draw this. Oh, by the way, guys, something to be mindful of. At no point in time should you use common letters in building drawing. It's against the rule. It's not allowed. It should not be. For drawing, you should always use capital letters. So this is a breach. Here I have capital letters. Here I have common letters. Okay? I only did this in order to save space. 
So again, at no point in time should you use common letters for your label. So I'm reproducing this. So I draw this flat, then I add a little angle to it for the oblique. This is the thickness. And in reality, this would have been way too thick. The door is typically two in two inches or this our top real. And I would draw my match boards. Then I would draw my middle rail. Then I would draw my brace. So remember, always draw using construction lines. Once you're done, right now. Or and that's basically how you draw it. And of course, you would label it just as you have a labeling here. Please note that you do not show, you do not draw using, you don't label using common, using uh, common letters. It should always be capital letters, All right? That's that for the ledge brace and button door. Now, let's go across the whole to the drawing of the panel door so my next step is to in this case I'm going to use isometric so I establish that and my 30 degree angle then I establish my width Now, it's important to know that while you, when, when you're doing a sketch, ratio and proportion is extremely important. Yeah. So if the door is 900 millimeters wide and the height is 2100, it means therefore the, the height should be about more than a little over three times the width. So in that case, I'm using that. Right. Next, I'm going to draw my top reel, middle, oh, middle reel, no, bottom reel first, then still, one still, first still, second still, Then the middle rail. Then a line here to represent the thickness or the depth.
Now it's time for the panel. Draw this horizontal. This horizontal again. Then join this to the corner. This to the corner. That to that. This to that. Ah, the sketch might not look too hot in a butt. It's okay. My sketching technique doesn't seem to be so hot today at all. Yeah, this doesn't look too hot at all. So that's basically how we would draw our panel door. And of course, once you have sketched this, you need to ensure that you label the drawing and the different components. In some cases, you might you might need to add the well. I, I'm not quite sure if, in some cases, for some sketches, you might need to tell to state the, the dimension for the different parts. All right, but I don't think you need to state the measurements of this. You might just need to label the different parts. So for your for your exam, you will need to know how to label these. Being able to sketch it is one, but you also get marks for being able to label it. And of great importance, ratio and proportion. It's very, very important. If one side is three times the length of one side, the side that is three times longer than the other side should look approximately three times the length. Okay? Peace out.